Okay, I'm going to do a little mechanical routing here. So first I'm going to enter mechanical routing application. I'm going to qualify this part as a mechanical routing part. It's a fitting. Create a new port. I'm going to select the center point of this port and provide a vector. Oh, I'm going to put in the, the offset from that port to where uh, this straight line section has to come out. Uh, and give it a vector there. I also want to give it a give the port a name that makes sense. Call it hose in. Then I want to provide it with a reference set for routing. So I can have routing ports turned on or off depending on what I want it in to see in the assembly. And these little routing control ports are a little difficult to pick. You have to get that little straight line section. And I want to save it. And go up to the parent assembly. I've got two of these in about uh, 30 inches apart from each other. I'm going to route a spline from one control port. There's where you see that 2.6 offset from the point that I picked. Put a couple more points in here. Pick the other port. And then I like to clean up the spline a little bit. I want to make it nice and straight. Make sure that it's set uh, to zero and the spline is nice and, and straight the way I like it. And the last one here. Tabbing between these fields is sometimes uh, not necessarily intuitive. Now there's my spline, and I want to place a space reservation on it. You can place stock on it as well. I don't have any stock that would work in this situation uh, set up. I need to work on that. I'm going to put a state space reservation on, give it a size. And here you can pick oval, square, round, whatever, and this will simulate. Uh, stock being placed on there. And I want to test it out. Move this end piece around a little bit, see if everything updates like it should. And it looks like it's working. And go undo that. I need to make this deformable in the context of a parent assembly. So I'm going to search for define deformable part. And you get a wizard. You need to select the space reservation and say OK. And I end up with a deformable part node in my part navigator. I currently don't have a parent for this, so I'm going to create a new parent. Go to the assemblies tab, create new parent, give it a name like parent. <laughs> and the first thing I want to do is be able to independently place these end pieces by overriding the position. And then I'll go down and deform the part. I'll create a new deformation. And now I have a def uh, deformable part. I can move this end. Where I need to. And it move the other end as well. Grab the fitting itself. Slide this one around. I key that one in at 90 degrees. You can also edit the spline path itself, all the knot points that you put in there. Uh, you can add knot points at this point uh, to, to drive it through a specific point on your assembly or just drag them around where it looks nice. Here I ended up with a violation. I've gone below minimum bend radius. And because it's just a uh, space reservation, it's just going to use uh, uh, half the tube diameter to calculate it. Thank you for watching. For more information, go to AppliedCAX.com.